Melodyne Bridge. How to integrate Melodyne Studio into your Pro Tools session using Melodyne's Bridge application. Melodyne Bridge acts like an effects plugin used to route audio from a host production environment, like Pro Tools, through Melodyne Studio. Simply put, selected tracks are routed from Pro Tools here, through Melodyne, and back again, giving users complete access to Melodyne's world-class editing capabilities. Let's check it out. Here I've launched Pro Tools. Now, routing audio simply means we're going to send audio outside of Pro Tools production environment and into Melodyne Studio where we can take advantage of its editing power. And to do that, it's very, very easy. Here we've got some, some tracks, vocal, acoustic guitar, bass, drums, some keyboards, and mandolin. Now, in order to first transfer the audio into Melodyne Studio, we need something to bridge the connection, hence the name Melodyne Bridge. It's very simple. We want to usually do it on our first insert. Here I have a trim plugin, which I don't think will get in the way. It usually doesn't. And next insert slot, I'm going to put in Melodyne Bridge. And it's recognized it as a mono track. And here the bridge application window opens and it says waiting for connection. Now it's going to automatically open Melodyne Studio for us. There, like so. Now, being a multi-track sequencer itself, multiple tracks can be transferred simultaneously if needed. Here we have our arrangement window. One thing I recommend that I like to do is name my corresponding tracks here in Melodyne with the corresponding tracks that I'm going to be transferring from here within Pro Tools. This way we can keep our, our session as organized as possible. So we have our vocal take right here. So for example, I'll rename this track the same, Fox. And I'll do the same for the corresponding tracks right now that we're going to transfer. There. As you can see, I've renamed every track here in Melodyne Studio to correspond to the individual tracks that I'm going to be transferring here in Pro Tools. Now what I recommend you do is save our session. Give our Melodyne session a unique name, but more importantly, put it in a location where you know you can access it in reference to your Pro Tools session. One place I like to save it in is my Pro Tools session folder. Simply choose File, Save Arrangement As, navigate to your Pro Tools session folder, and you can create a folder in there. And I'll call it, uh, let's say, Melodyne uh, Bridge Work. Okay, like that. And then we'll give it a name. And I'll call it same Melodyne. There we go. Bridge work. And I'll hit save. Now we have this session, Melodyne Bridge Work, saved within our same corresponding Pro Tools session folder. And I highly recommend you do this. It's a great way to stay organized and keep everything in the same work environment if that's the way you choose to work. Next, let's take a look at our Melodyne Bridge plugin window. Here we'll see that it now reads Melodyne Bridge Work, the title of our corresponding save here in Melodyne Studio regarding the files that we're going to be transferring and routing from Pro Tools into Melodyne. And to do that, each track needs to have this application window inserted. And here it says Transfer, which means that when we're going to transfer the audio, we want to activate this option. And we're done transferring, we simply switch it to Playback. So for now, we'll leave it on Transfer. We're in the right Melodyne session, but we want to make sure we connect it to the right track. And here you see the corresponding renamed tracks in Melodyne that I created, Vox. So now this vocal channel is going to be transferred here into Melodyne Studio in this location. And we're going to repeat this process now on every single one of these tracks. Great. Now, as you can see, I've inserted Melodyne Bridge on each track that I'm choosing to transfer. And as I select them, you can see that in the Connect To dialog box, it's telling me the corresponding track. Here we have drums, keyboards, mandolin, and I'll go back to Vox. And they're all in transfer mode. 
Keep in mind we also have a system load resource monitor here. And this dialog area in the lower left of the plugin box will give us information regarding as to what process we're, we're providing. All right, so now I think we're ready to transfer. What we'll do here is I'm going to choose uh, my verse 1, and we'll transfer verse 1 and route it from Pro Tools into Melodyne like so. You want to tie me up You want to tie me down you drinking from a cup Go a second round. I'll stop playback and we'll give Melodyne a moment to process the audio. There we go, detecting transferred file for each track. And once that's complete, you'll see that the audio has been transferred successfully into Melodyne Studio where we can now begin utilizing its amazing editing power, like so. There we go. We've transferred our verse 1 here into Melodyne. We've routed it and transferred it, which now means that we can take advantage of that editing power. For example, vocals are a popular audio source with which to edit Melodyne with. I can select any track here and open it in the editor window. I'll choose my vocal track, come up to window and say, show it in the editor window. And there we have our vocals ready to begin editing as normal with, uh, with Melodyne. There we go. This is a powerful way to take advantage of two incredible production environments like Pro Tools and Melodyne using Melodyne Bridge. Once you've edited your audio, and keep in mind, you can transfer just one track or two tracks. I believe we have up to 16 channels of communication available to us for transfer into Melodyne at one time. You can also print your tracks onto a new track, saving system resources if that's important to you also. Just a little tip or trick right there. And again, Transferring your audio is a great way to take advantage of two amazing production environments, both Pro Tools and Melodyne Studio, connecting via Melodyne Bridge here as an Insert Effects plugin. Thank you for watching. My name's Carlo Libertini.